Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Ivy English. Today, we're going to take you to the British Museum, a beacon of culture with a troubled past and a currently troubled present, actually. 好，那我们的中文标题是“大英博物馆的壮丽与争议”。那我们看到英文标题里面讲说，大英博物馆呢是 “a beacon of culture”。Beacon 就是灯塔，或它也可以指烽火 ，or a lighthouse， yeah， 或者就是一个灯塔 ，lighthouse。那但是呢，它有一个 troubled past。Troubled 是因为某些外部原因而感到不安的，或者是受到一些困扰，有一些困扰的一个过去。所以大英博物馆非常辉煌，但是它有一些过去呢，是让人觉得有点困扰的。You know what? I made a mistake. Beacon is not lighthouse. Beacon is the beam of light that comes from the lighthouse. So、oh. calling it a beacon is calling it a beam of light that guides people home. The lighthouse simply houses the beacon. Yeah, this beacon, ah, actually, 翻成灯塔有一点不够精确。它其实指的是灯塔里面照出来的那个光，那一束光叫做一个 beacon. Okay, let me read through our article for you right now. The British Museum is undoubtedly one of the most renowned museums in the world. It boasts a collection of over eight million objects that span two million years of history and culture. While millions of people visit the museum each year, attention has recently been drawn to its controversial acquisition of artifacts. And its association with British colonialism. The origins of the British Museum date back to 1753, when Sir Hans Sloane, an English physician and naturalist, passed away. In his will, Sloane bequeathed a massive collection, including books, manuscripts, coins, drawings, medals, plants. Fossils and antiquities to his nation. The museum opened its doors to the public in 1759 in Montague House in Bloomsbury, London, where the current building stands. The British Museum was the first national public museum in the world, and was free for anyone studious and curious. There are some interesting facts about the British Museum. That many people are unaware of. For instance, it was among the earliest public buildings in London to feature electric lights, with installations in the reading room, the front hall, and the forecourt in 1879. Furthermore, it features the largest covered square in all of Europe. The roof of the Great Court consists of more than. Three thousand glass panes covering an area of six thousand one hundred square meters. The steel framework supporting the roof weighs an amazing eight hundred tons. Historical records also indicate that the famous composer Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart visited the British Museum in the seventeen sixties. In recent times. The British Museum has faced criticism for housing items acquired through theft or looting during the British Empire. In response to these concerns, the museum is engaged in discussions with other countries about the potential return of contested artifacts. Okay, so the British Museum is undoubtedly one of the most renowned museums in the world. If you are undoubtedly something, no one doubts that. Everyone agrees that you are what you are the most renowned museum in the world. Renowned means well known, so everyone has heard of the British Museum. Okay, so 大英博物馆注意，它有一个 the the British Museum。它怎么样呢 ？Undoubtedly， 就是 without doubt， certainly。它是毫无疑问的，是 one of the most 最怎么样？最 renowned， 就是著名的，而且通常是好这个好的名声。The museums in the world。所以毫无疑问的，大英博物馆是世界上最著名的博物馆之一。It boasts a collection of over eight million objects that span two million years of history and culture. Wait a minute! Two million years of history and culture. Well, the history part more than the culture part when you get back far enough, probably. 
Yeah, when you go back, after all, most of the civilizations we know about in the world were within the last 10,000 years. That's and much less than 2 million. Also, human but, beings are only about 200,000 years old. Yeah. So the development of mankind as a species and uh, his accomplishments, span means to last a period of time. The movie lasted three hours. It was too long. Span, two million years of history and culture. Boy, it goes right back to the roots of uh, us, us people as homo sapiens, going way, way back uh, to our animal nature. 好 ，boast 在这里就是骄傲的拥有，所以这个英文常常叫 it boasts， 然后后面常常就接 a collection of 多少，就表示他有很骄傲的拥有这么多的收藏品。好 ，collection 就收藏或者收藏品，所以。大英博物馆呢，它有很骄傲的拥有这个多少收藏品呢？它的收藏品是 over 超过 eight million objects， 超过八百万件的收藏品。那这些收藏品呢 ，span 就是横跨 ，to extend across in space or time 就是 span， 它横跨怎么样？两百万年的 history 文的历史跟 culture 文化，所以它这个收藏又多，范围又广。Now, while millions of people visit the museum each year, they have there's a lot of people who go there every year. Attention has recently been drawn to it something. If attention has been drawn to something, it means people have pointed out that there's a problem, or that something needs to be looked at. What needs to be looked at? It's controversial acquisition of artifacts. Artifacts are pieces, things that are important to keep, like. Stuff <laughs> like stuff, like I don't know, ancient teacups or whatever. These are artifacts, and to acquire an artifact when you're a museum, it means that you are able to buy or be gifted an object to be in your collection. That's called acquisitions. And controversial means people are like, "Hey, why are we acquiring that artifact? There is a problem here." Controversial means people are arguing about it, so they're arguing about. Which artifacts are in the British collection, and their association with British colonialism? Colonialism is when British people occupied and governed forcibly more than a quarter of the world, and、um, kind of overtook other people's countries. And there was a lot of pain and suffering associated with that. And while they were there, they kind of just sort of brought things home and put it in the British Museum without necessarily asking permission. The one that's most famous is the Elgin Marbles. They basically took the Elgin Marbles off of the Acropolis, which is a very important、um, monument, temple. Mo temple or monument in Greece, and they just took them home. <laughs> so that's what we're talking about here. 好，所以 while 是虽然一方面 millions of people 数百万人呢 visit the museum 会去参观这个博物馆 each year 每年都会参观这个博物馆。但是呢 ，attention 就注意的焦点 has recently been drawn to. 那这个是被动式，就是这个注意的焦点最近呢被吸引到，被拉到某件事情上面。也就是说，最近人们开始关注这个问题的什么问题呢？关注到它的 controversial， 就是有争议的 acquisition 是获得或者取得 the act of acquiring or gaining possession of something. 好，所以。它的取得的过程是有争议性的。取得什么的过程有争议性呢 ？Artifacts 就是文物，还有工艺品啊。也就是说，大英博物馆它里面很多展览品或者文物呢，它的取得是有争议的。那什么争议呢？他继续告诉你，他说 ，and its association with association with 就是和什么的连结。也就是说，大英博物馆它这些工艺品的取得呢，和 British colonialism 跟这个。大英帝国的殖民主义是有连结的。那原因刚刚我们讲的很清楚了，其实就是这个大英博物馆里面很多的文物啊，都是在英国的帝国主义时期、殖民主义时期呢，他们侵略殖民别的国家，那就把别的国家文物就带回英国去展览去了，也没有问当地人的这个，也没有经过当地人的允许。所以简单的说，他们里面很多的文物其实是抢来的。Okay, our next paragraph: the origins of the British Museum. Date back to 1753, when Sir Hans Sloane, an English physician and naturalist, passed away. So, when did this British Museum begin? Well, it dates back to 1753. It、uh, started in a particular year. Sir Hans Sloane was an English doctor and naturalist. 
people who are interested in the natural world, whether it's animals, plants, weather, geology, anything like that, you're a naturalist. Well, he was a doctor and a naturalist. He passed away in 1753. 好，那 the origins of something 就是什么的起源。那各位注意，这个很常见的语块，就 the origins of something date back to 某一个时期，就是这个东西的起源可以追溯到某一个时间。所以这里呢，我们看到一样的句型。所以大英帝国的起源呢，可以追溯到 date back to 1753年。When 就是在这一年呢，有一个叫 Sir Hans Sloane 这个人，他是谁呢？一个同位语，告诉你，他是一个英国的 physician， 在这也是指医师的意思。还有呢，他也是个 naturalist， 一个博物学家。那这位 Sir 呢，他是有爵位的，他 passed away， 他去世。所以1753年的时候，有英国这么一位 Sir Hans Sloane 这位爵士，他是个医师，也是个博物学家，他去世了。那这是大英博物馆的起源。In his will, in her, Sir Hans Sloane's will, a will is a document that explains how to dispose of your belongings afterwards, who gets what of your stuff afterwards, and that is in order to prevent a lot of fights. And it's very, very useful. So, in his will, Sloane bequeathed. If you bequeath, it means you leave them in your will. So he bequeathed a massive collection, a huge and deep collection of things. To his nation, so he was just like I give all my good stuff to the the public, to the nation, and you guys can do what you want with it. But probably you should build a building for it. So what did he give them? He gave them books, manuscripts. Manuscripts are books that are not yet printed, or like they're the written version of the book before they were printed. So they're in a way very valuable because you can compare the manuscript to the pr later printed book and see if there's anything new or interesting in there that didn't get printed. Um, there's also coins, drawings, medals. Medals are like little badges given to people when they've done something interesting for the country.、Um, plants, fossils. Fossils are really old remains, usually stone of an animal or a plant from like millions of years ago. And antiquities. Antiquities are the controversial bit. They are old things from other countries,、mm. and he gave them all to his nation. Okay, so in his will, 在他的遗嘱里面呢 ，Sloan bequeath bequeath 就是把什么什么遗赠给谁，后面会加一个 to， 那这个 to 在句尾 ，to his nation， 他把这些东西遗赠给他的国家。那什么东西呢 ？A massive collection， 他把一个很庞大的收藏品遗赠给他的国家。那这个收藏品 ，including 收藏品里面包括的 books 书 ，manuscripts 手稿 ，coins 钱币 ，drawings 绘画。Medals, 奖章 plants, 植物 fossils, 化石还有 antiquities, 就是古董 The museum opened its doors to the public in 1759 in Montague House in Bloomsbury, London, where the current building stands. So six years after he died, the museum it took them six years to. Clean it up and give it some order. Catalog They, it. Yeah. Figure out how to build the building for it. How、uh, to display it. Yeah, to display the things that he had collected. That was in 1759, in Montague House in Bloomsbury. That's a neighborhood of London, where the current building stands. Bloomsbury is where Virginia Woolf lived. Hmm. Ah,、uh, so Bloomsbury 就是名作家 Virginia Woolf 她住的地方。好，那这个句子讲到说，这个博物馆呢 ，opened its doors to the public， 就是它向大众打开它的门，也就是说，它向大众开放。在1759年啊，也就是这个 Sir Hans Sloane 去世之后六年就开放了。那在哪里呢？在这个 Montague House， 那这个是在伦敦的 Bloomsbury 这个地方。Where 就是就是他当时开的这个地方呢。是 the current building stands. 就现在这个建筑位于同样一个地方啊。Stand 就是位于或者所在的意思哈。To be placed or situated 的意思就是 stand. So what makes the British Museum particularly noteworthy is they were the first of its kind. They were the first people to have this concept that one should share historical knowledge with the general public, and so. They were the first national public museum in the world. They were the first, like it was the first idea at time that someone had this concept of a public museum. Like here's a museum where everyone can see things. That's new. We have them now everywhere, but the British Museum was the first one. 
and it was free for anyone studious and curious. If you're interested in studying things, you could just go there and look at them. That was brand new at the time. 好，所以这个大英博物馆呢是第一个国家级的 public museum， 这个公众博物馆 in the world， 它是全世界第一个国家级的公众博物馆，而且呢 was free for， 它是免费的。Anyone, 任何一个人，只要你是怎么样 ，anyone that is studious 就是好学、勤学 ，and curious 好奇的、想求知的，你都可以免费的进入这个博物馆，叫做 was free for anyone studious and curious. There are some interesting facts about the British Museum that many people are unaware of. Most people have heard of the British Museum, whether they've seen it,、uh, gone there, and seen it or not. One more interesting fact about the British Museum is that many people aren't aware of、uh, when it began, who, how did it get started. I, I think most people think, oh, the King and the Queen of England probably built it and then gave it to the public, which isn't true. Hmm. 好，所以各位要注意这个片语 to be unaware of 就是 not aware of something 或者 not conscious of something 就是不知道的意思。所以他说 ，There are some interesting facts about the British Museum. 所以大英博物馆呢，有一些有趣的事实关于它。那这些事实是怎么样？是 that many people are unaware of， 很多人都不知道的一些有趣的事实。For instance, it was among the earliest public buildings in London to feature electric lights. So not only was it the first one to be like, "Hey, let's be a museum and for free." They were like, yes, let's also put electricity in this building, which was a brand new technology at the time and very unusual. And so they were among the first to do it with installations of public of these electric lights in the reading room, which makes sense because one needs light to read. An installation means、um, it's been put in; it's been、um, fixed. It's been fixed into place. Yeah. There's also the front hall where everyone comes in to begin with, and then the forecourt, which is another room. And all of this was done in 1879. 好，例如什么有趣的事实呢？它是 among the earliest public buildings in London. 它是伦敦最早的公共建筑之一。最早公共建筑之一是干嘛呢 ？To 这些公共建筑呢，是它 feature 它以什么为特色？以 electric lights。也就是他们写，他们有装电灯。他这个大英博物馆呢，是伦敦的公众建筑最早装电灯的建筑之一。然后附随状况就是 with installations， 就装置或者安装。他装了电灯，在哪里装呢？在这个 the reading room， 就阅览室。好，还在 the front hall， 就是前厅。然后呢，还有 the forecourt， 在前庭都装了。在一八七九年就装了电灯了。Furthermore， and there's more。It features the largest covered square in all of Europe. Europe is a place of fantastic architecture: very large castles and cathedrals, and just about no pyramids. But、uh, well, now one at the Louvre made of glass.、Oh, that's true. But no Egyptian pyramids. <laughs> so a covered square. A square is an open area and is actually is almost always truly a square. The same number of feet on each of four sides. And、uh, the Europeans love that sort of thing, and so do the Europeans who live around it or near it, because it's a wide open space and usually a very crowded part of the city. 好，所以此外呢 ，furthermore, it features 它有一个特色，就是它有 the largest covered square 最大的有盖的广场，就是有屋顶的广场 in all of Europe 啊，整个欧洲最大的一个有遮蔽的有盖的一个广场就是在这里。And now we'll find some facts. Now we're going to listen to some facts about this covered square. The roof of the Great Court. The Great Court is the name of that covered square. Consists of is made up of more than three thousand glass panes. A lot of different pieces of glass. A pane of glass is one piece. Like if you look at a window and it's been divided up, each one of those pieces is a pane. And like you could have like nine panes or twelve panes making up the window. In this case, our giant window is made up of three thousand glass panes, covering an area of six thousand one hundred square meters. And if you can imagine that, just think big. Yeah, so. 这个屋顶是这个 the Great Court 大中庭的屋顶，那这应该指的就是它那个最大的有盖广场啊，大中庭。它的屋顶呢 consists of 有什么组成呢？有超过 more than 三千块的 glass panes 玻璃片所组成 ，covering 它覆盖了 
an area of 多大的一个面积呢？多大的一个区域呢？一个六千一百平方公尺的一个面积，所以非常大的一个有盖的广场。The steel framework supporting the roof weighs an amazing eight hundred tons. As we continue to talk about the great court,、uh, great of course is here means big, and、uh, three thousand glass panes and eight hundred tons, probably of yes, it is steel framework, a very、uh, strong kind of metal, which、uh, helps to keep、uh, the roof up <laughs> away from the floor. It supports the roof. And the the idea of giving you all these statistics is to show you how large, not only how important, but how large this building really is. 好 ，steel 是钢 ，framework 架构或者结构。这钢架或者钢结构呢 ，supporting the roof 支撑这个屋顶的那个钢的架构呢 ，weighs 这个光是这些钢它的重量就是 an amazing 就是很惊人的八百公吨。所以 an amazing 后面常常加一个数字，表示这个数字是很惊人的。And more interesting to me, historical records also indicate that the famous composer Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart visited the British Museum in the 1760s. One doesn't think about Mozart in the same breath as the British Museum, <笑> but there you go. 好 ，historical records 就是历史记录，也 indicate 指出这个著名的作曲者这个莫扎特他。在一七六零年代 ，visited the British Museum. Okay, our final paragraph. In recent times, the British Museum has faced criticism for housing items acquired through theft or looting during the British British Empire.、Uh, the British Empire depends on how you count these things, but、uh, it was a good three hundred years long after the Middle Ages,、uh, roughly the sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen hundreds. People have complained. There's criticism of the、uh, museum. They have complained about it because it is housing items. Be careful here. H o u s e. Of course, the noun is house, but there's a verb house, the same as house. But pronounced with a z sound, housing is, is to include or to to keep. And these items that they're referring to were acquired. The, the museum got them through theft, through stealing. Whatever was stolen could be sent back to the museum, and they probably didn't ask, you know, where did this come from, and how come I don't have a signature on it or something, because、uh, they were looted or stolen during the British Empire. Especially here, referring to the period of its、uh, fantastic military success. Yeah, they're like, oh, you got this during a war campaign. Great, put it over here. <laughs> 嗯，好，所以呢，近来 in recent times， 近年近来，那这个博物馆呢 has faced criticism， 它面临了一些批评。为什么呢 ？For 后面加受到批评的原因，因为它 housing 在这里是动词，它收藏了一些 items， 一些东西 that were acquired. 这些东西得来是怎么样？是 through 透过 theft 偷窃，或者是 looting 战争的时候的掠夺得来的。好 ，loot 另外一个类似的叫 plunder 哈 ，p l u n d e r。那这都是在帝大英帝国时期，可能是要么偷来，所以偷就是不告而取，叫做偷；再不然就是 loot 掠夺。In response to these concerns, so of course, when people say stuff about you, you have to have a response. You have to have an answer to them. So their answer is that the museum is engaged in discussions with other countries. So they're actually talking to these other countries about the potential return, about how they're going to return. The contested objects, the objects that people are fighting about. Now, something you should know is that the British Museum itself is very willing to return these objects. The problem is that there is a law. So this is a Parliament problem. This is a lawmaker problem, not a museum decision problem. So don't yell at the museum. Yell at British Parliament. Hmm. 好，所以 in response to 就作为回应，作为这些 concerns， 这些关切的回应，哈，因为大家很关心你东西是不是抢来的、啊、偷来的、啊。那作为回应呢，这个博物馆它怎么样 ？Is engaged in， 它现在已经正在从事 discussions， 讨论、商议 with other countries， 跟其他国家他们正在商议讨论关于怎么样 the potential return， 就是可能的 potential 是潜在的可能的 return， 就他们可能会还你。Of contested 就是有争议的 ，controversial 或者 disputed，d i s p u t e d， 这些有争议的文物呢 
，有可能他要还给你，但他们在讨论啊。不过就像刚刚 Angel 老师说的，这个重点不是。博物馆不想还，博物馆想还，但是英国啊、呃，国会有法律，就让他们没有办法还，所以问题在这个英国的国会。Okay, we have a couple of reading comprehension questions here for you. The first is, what is Sir Hans Sloane's relation to the British Museum? He gave the stuff for it, which made it get started. He bequeathed a massive collection to his nation, or the British Museum. 好，所以这位先生啊，这位爵士，这个 Sir Hans Sloane， 他跟大英帝国博物馆有什么关系呢？答案是他捐赠了，他死后啊，遗赠，把他的收藏品遗赠给这个国家啊，也给了这个大英博物馆，所以这个大英博物馆因此而来。And number two, why has the British Museum faced criticism recently? Recently, meaning the last ten, fifteen years. 好，那最近为什么大英博物馆面临了很多批评呢？ And the answer is because it, or because the museum, houses items acquired through theft or looting during the era of the British Empire, because there's stolen stuff in there. 好，那答案是因为这个博物馆里面很多展览品呢啊，不要说很多，有一些展览品是大英帝国时期哈，要么就是偷来的，要么就是抢夺来的，因为这样子，所以他受到了一些批评。Well, that's it for today's lesson. Bye bye. 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 